Dear brothers and sisters, Trinity Sunday is not an easy Sunday to preach. It is said the nightmare of priests to prepare a homily because we are speaking about a mystery, the mystery of God. I pray even in my human inabilities, the Holy Spirit may speak to you. As I was reflecting, I was reminded of a small story or analogy I heard from Father Noel Moloi, who was our spiritual father in Nagpur Seminary. Imagine that you have an uncle, your mother says to you, imagine your mother says to you, you have an uncle, meaning to say, meaning to say your mother's brother living in some faraway country abroad, far from your hometown. He is there settled for many years. If your mother says you have an uncle living abroad, would you believe her? For sure we would believe her because why should our mother say a lie? So we believe, but if someone asks you, tell us about your uncle living abroad, we wouldn't have much to say because we have not heard him, we have not seen him. But on a fine day, if your uncle whom you have not met makes a phone call, these are days of WhatsApp calls. Let's say your uncle makes a WhatsApp video call and you have a little nice time with your uncle speaking to him. And after a while, your uncle comes to visit you, your house. He comes with the nice gifts that you are desiring for. He comes to visit you. If after that talk, if after that visit, someone asks you, tell me about your uncle, you would be able to speak so much about your uncle because you met him, you spoke to him, you experienced him. In fact, when we speak about the Holy Trinity, it is so much true. Today we are not trying to understand a mystery. We are not trying to intellectually grasp a mystery which is beyond our comprehension. The more we try to do that, we are like that boy in the story of St. Augustine trying to empty the sea into a small hole. But if you decide to get into the sea and swim in that sea, you will enjoy the sea. The Feast of Holy Trinity is inviting us to experience Trinity. Trinity is the three divine persons. Our God is one and three persons. We can experience the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. We need to ask ourselves this simple question today. Have I experienced him? Or is he like an uncle about whom I have heard about from someone else, then he is far away. Let us begin to have a relationship and the more we grow in communion with the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, we will experience Him. Once someone asks this question, Father, has God changed from Old Testament to New Testament? Because in the Old Testament there is no mention of Trinity, but when we come to the New Testament, we believe in a Trinitarian God. Interestingly, the word Trinity is not used neither in the Old Testament or in the New Testament. But we know in the New Testament, we say our God is Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. So this person asked this question, has God changed himself from Old Testament to New Testament? St. Paul gives us an answer in his letter to the Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 11 and the following. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now we see in mirror dimly and then face to face. Brothers and sisters, when we go through the scripture, we know God reveals himself gradually. Think about this. When we joined the school for our education, when we were in grade one, we learned alphabets, then we learned simple words, then we learned to form sentences, 
then we learned grammar we did not learn grammar in grade 1 what we have to study in grade 5 we were not taught in grade 1 we cannot grasp it god reveals himself gradually in the scripture when we read old testament there are places where we can see the traces of the trinitarian god when the lord said let us my make man in our image and likeness we see the trace of the trinitarian god there in the first pages of the bible the book of genesis who was the first person who received the revelation that our god is a trinitarian god who was the first human person who received the revelation that our god is a trinitarian god is trinity trinity that is our blessed mother when the angel gabriel came to mary the angel gabriel said you shall conceive by the power of the holy spirit the son of the almighty that was the first time we have an explicit revelation that our god is father son and the holy spirit then we again receive an explicit revelation of the trinitarian god at the baptism of jesus during the baptism of jesus we read in the scripture the holy spirit came upon jesus the son in the form of a dove and the father spoke from heaven here is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased there we have father son and the holy spirit again at the mount of transfiguration we have the presence of the holy trinity there the father spoke and the holy spirit came in the form of a cloud upon jesus dear brothers and sisters our god is a trinitarian god jesus after the last supper when he was giving that final discourse to the disciples philip asked jesus this question lord show us the father that we shall be satisfied there again jesus revealed the mystery of the holy trinity revealing his close communion with the father and the holy spirit jesus said gospel of saint john chapter 14 verse 9 he who has seen me has seen the father he who has seen me has seen the father again there john chapter 14 verse 10 the lord said i am in the father and the father in me and in the same passage gospel of saint john chapter 14 verse 16 i will pray to the father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever So our God has not changed from Old Testament to God, New Testament. He reveals Himself gradually, and today we need to make that genuine effort by relating Him, relating to Him, that we know Him more personally. Again, another question that often people ask is this: Father, I often pray to Jesus. Will the Father, Heavenly Father? and will the holy spirit get offended that i am praying to jesus do you have such a doubt what is your answer will heavenly father and holy spirit get offended if you are praying to the to our master jesus the answer is no never because and what is the reason because our god is one our god is one second honor one person of the trinity we honor the other two when we honor the father we are honoring the son and the holy spirit when we glorify the son we are glorifying the father and the holy spirit when we on when we praise the holy spirit we are praising the father and jesus there is a catholic spiritual principle which we say when one person of the holy trinity is present the three persons of the holy trinity is present when we expose the blessed sacrament we often say that where jesus is there the father and there the son god is one the second reason why we can say god is not offended by praying to one person not the three is this a god is love a god is love in when we say a god is love there is no space for jealousy there is no place for envy there is no praise for place for sadness or big or small 
often we have this human difficulty we apply human terminologies to god we think about of three friends if one is favored other two may feel offended never will a god get offended rather the simple principle our god is love speaks about the depth of holy trinity every religion every world religion accepts the fact god loves and indeed true god loves but we have something very special about our christian faith we say god is love what is the difference from god loves us to god is love saint john in his epistle says god is love what is difference and i believe as as the famous christian authors and uh, uh, great saints teachers this is where we can understand the holy trinity in a simple way that our god is love when we say god is love there is a lover there is a beloved and there is the love between the the lover and the beloved and that is our holy trinity there is the father there is the son and the love between the father and the son is the holy spirit our god is love dear brothers and sisters this lord is inviting all of us to experience his love in our own personal lives i remember reading what fulton j shin said about holy trinity in order to understand holy trinity he used this simple example from ordinary life he said think of your chemistry lessons water what is water the chemical formula for water is h2o that is the nature that water can be liquid that water can be steam that water can be ice the nature does not change but through three relations when we say our god is one and three persons what we understand is this the relationship the three relationships father son and the holy spirit yes we are talking about a mystery if you ever think you understood trinity we are far from knowing him we can never ever grasp god with our human intellect but we can experience him and the lord invites us to experience him personally dear brothers and sisters in the beginning of the bible the lord said let us create man in our own image and likeness he created us in his image and likeness meaning to say we have this unity this love this communion within us at times in our living of the as we li- as we have lived our life here on this world we have lost this love this unity and this communion this trinity sunday is inviting all of us once again to get back that image and likeness in which god created us by loving by having communion and by growing in unity amen